Welcome to One on One with Expert Flyer. I'm your host, Lisa Kaslin, and today we're talking about travel hacks for 2017. And we've got a wonderful guest. Randy Wolfson is joining us. She is the VP Communications North America for Skyscanner. Thank you for joining, Randy. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, my pleasure. So for folks out there who haven't heard of Skyscanner, I'm sure there's not too many, give us a, a quick overview of what you do. Sure. So Skyscanner is the world's travel search engine. We make it very easy for you to search and compare flights, hotel, and rental cars. We're free, we're unbiased, and over 50 million travelers globally trust us each month to plan their travel. Wow. Okay. That's a lot. So uh, there, there's quite a few studies going out there. I know you guys have done your own and, you know, every, every year Expedia joins up with ARC and they do their annual global air travel outlook. Um, and people, you know, read this. According to their findings, it, it seems as though ticket prices around the world, economy class, have, uh, have really gone down quite a bit. Uh, in fact, according to them, they haven't been this low since 2013. What does your data say? Is in line with that. We've seen that ticket prices have been below average. However, we're now seeing that they're creeping up and they are coming back up. Um, um, so, in fact, we saw that um, December this month, um, there's been an increase in last minute um, planners and, and, and bookers. And that's actually doubled um, compared to last December 2015. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we've seen ticket prices in December um, go up about 14% um, mm -hmm. comparing year over year. So um, it was good, and now we're creeping back up. Okay, so for all the hackers that thought that they were going to get a couple of days off, no, not so much. All right. right. <laughs> for, um, for those that are looking for New Year's Eve um, ticket prices still and haven't booked and still haven't figured out where they want to go, we are seeing that if you book next week, there's still a chance for a savings. So potentially a 7% savings if you look to book next week. So oh, get those good. last minute tips in. Good, good, good. All right. Well, that was that was going to be, uh, I guess, one of my questions was, so if, if savvy travelers want to take advantage of Skyscanner uh, as, a, as a tool to hack some good deals, how should they do that? Sure. So the way Skyscanner set up, um, you know, when we were first founded, our CEO basically wanted to find a good deal. So that's kind of in our DNA is to find the best flight deals um, and hotel deals and, and rental car. So we have a lot of tools through um, Skyscanner.com, our website, or our app available on um, any app store. Um, the way it's set up, we kind of break it down by recommendations for you so if you need travel inspiration um, weekend getaways and those are based on best prices um, we also have a few different tools that give you travel inspiration or help you find the best deal uh, we have a tool called the everywhere search mm -hmm. so you just type in everywhere into the two box and we'll um, give you recommendations organized by best price so if you're not sure where you want to go, but know you want to go away, the Everywhere Search tool is, is a good one. We also have a tool called um, Month View or Cheapest Month. So you can, if you know you want to get away, but don't have a preference when, you just want the best deal, we'll tell you, using that tool, we'll tell you when the best um, time is to go looking at the cheapest prices. Hmm. And then we also have price alerts. So if you have an itinerary in mind, and you want to make sure you're getting the best deal, uh, sign up for a price alert, and we will um, let you know if the when the price goes down or up, and we'll keep um, an eye on it for you. We also do a, a weekly deals um, article every, um, every week with the hot deals of the week, so um, make sure to check that out. Okay, wow, you've got a lot of stuff going on. Now, just to play devil's advocate, there are a lot of other uh, meta search engines out there, Mamondo, Expedia, obviously Kayak. How does Skyscanner set themselves apart from those other engines? Sure. So we have over 1,200 partners globally. Um, with the majority of those partners, we have direct relationships with them. So we work directly with them, where others um, may use a third-party 
provider to get itineraries or the ticket prices. We work directly with the partners. So that means that our, our itineraries are really up to date and we get kind of the in on those sale prices and um, really up to date pricing. So that um, kind of gives us an edge in the market with our, um, our partners and being able to compare, um, really truly compare what your best options are. Okay, good enough. So what are some, you know, I guess broad stroke tips uh, aside from just using Skyscanner? I'm sure you have a wealth of information. So give us some tips. Yes, yeah, so um, we're seeing for 2017 as you're going into the year, um, the cheapest time to book uh, for domestic traveler, it looks like is the week of, let me just get my notes here, the week of January 9th. And then for international travel, the cheapest time to book is the week of January 16th. So you may want to really mark your calendars and look to plan your um, vacation schedule those weeks because we, we are seeing that those could be really good times to find the best deals. And then Skyscanner, um, with every kind of upcoming holiday or season, we often like to pull together the best time to book. Um, after New Year's, the, the big holiday getaway for a romantic destination, for Valentine's Day, we're seeing that there's um, a chance for savings if you book the week of January 9th, 9th and that could afford you savings of up to 15%. Oh. So we like to keep an eye on those. So that's a, a good thing to check out Skyscanner to um, see what we're kind of reporting on. And then just using our tools, um, those are kind of that combination really can um, help a, a true travel hacker um, find some really good deals. Okay. Let me ask you something. Uh, you just mentioned, you know, ideal times to, to book and, you know, obviously January has come up several times. When you say ideal time to book, so January 9th, I book my trip. Does that, does the timing of the actual trip then impact the pricing or how does that work? It's the, actual, we're talking about the actual booking. So if you book that week, we're seeing discounts. We do the analysis of looking at historical data and looking at the trends of pricing going up and down um, throughout the year. Okay. Well, that's a traditional shoulder season anyway. So yeah, we would expect that. So yes. talk about uh, international uh, travel a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of discount carriers popping up, international folks. You know, we've got uh, Norwegian Air coming very strong, Iceland's WOW Air. What are you seeing in terms of specific advantages or deals uh, internationally? We've seen some great, great prices with those airlines specifically. Um, there's been a lot of really good deals um, flying to Europe um, and, you know, specifically Paris and Reykjavik, which is a, a hot destination. Yes. So yes. if you're looking to travel to Europe this year, um, we're seeing some really good deals on that. Another thing that people um, may forget about or may be discouraged by, so with those um, flight itineraries and those good pricing, sometimes there's um, quite a long layover. But uh, travelers should see that as an advantage, as, as like a bonus city that they're getting to visit. Because sometimes those layovers are long enough for you to spend a day exploring the city. Oh. Um, so if you're really an adventurous traveler, that's a good way to get in um, an, another city exploring, um, exploring time um, without having the extra cost of an extra flight. So. Good, good advice. Okay, so before we let you go, any last tips or pieces of advice? Well, you know, 2017, I just want to encourage everyone to make it their year of travel because honestly, with all the tools out there and the knowledge of when the best time to go is, anybody can kind of cross any uh, destination off their bucket list this year. Good advice. Thank you so much for joining, Randy. We hope to have you back again. Thank you very much. Have a okay. good day. You too. Bye-bye.